Rain, rain, go away, come again some other day. Guys, if you haven't unsubscribed from this channel, boy, this video is gonna really make you wanna unsubscribe. <laughs> Seriously. Let's go into Giant Eagle, let's talk about it. Today we're gonna talk about the obsession that the media had over the Gabby Petito case over the course of time that she was missing and unfortunately being found dead. The obsession with the media over this Gabby Petito case, a video that I've done when I went to her memorial in Long Island last year, right? So I'm gonna give you my theory on why I believe the media was so obsessed over this particular abduction slash murder case, right? This hopefully won't be a long video because I'm just gonna break it down very quickly as to why everybody was enamored with this story. You're going to get a circle, right? Imagine right now there's a circle in front of you and I want you to cut it into five pieces and each piece is gonna represent 20% of the circle. So, letting you know right now, the reason why the Gabby Petito case was all over social media, all over the news media, so forth and so on, are those five pieces, each piece being 20%. And it's broken down like this. 20% was she was young. 20% was that she had blonde hair. 20% was that she had blue eyes. 20% was that she was white and 20% was that whole YouTube thing. It was a whole like YouTube thing where, you know, she had a, um, a YouTube channel and people were mystified by that. But also she's white, she's young, she has blonde hair and she has blue eyes. Now this is not to uh, negate the fact that she was brutally murdered by the hands of her scumbag boyfriend. That's not really about that at all. But this video is going to lay down some truth bombs to you, right? Now, if you don't believe what I just said, right? If you don't believe what I just said about the reason the Gabby Petito case being so uh, in the uh, public's eye for those uh, months back last year, again, her being young, her being white, her having blonde hair, her having blue eyes, the whole YouTube social media thing. If you think that I'm being, if you think that I'm wrong, and if you think that I'm, you know, bringing race into it, uh, maybe this channel is not for you. Maybe you should find another channel to watch. Uh, you probably do not like the truth and you don't like when the uncomfortable truth is thrown at you, thrown your way. I'll just, leave you with this for right now. Uh, leave a comment below, tell me what you think. Uh, let me know. You had Natalie Holloway. You had currently what's going on with the Kylie Rodney situation. Uh, you have the jogger in Memphis right now. Her name escapes me. Uh, blonde hair, white lady, uh, Harris to a billionaire of fortune. I don't know nothing about that case because I just haven't paid attention to it. More than likely she's probably dead somewhere being that they found the guy scrubbing blood out of the uh, carpet in his vehicle it's not looking good sadly so you have natalie holloway you have gabby petito you have kylie rodney and i'm pretty sure there is another case out there that escapes me right now that everybody was enamored with if you think that i'm not telling you the truth if you think i'm full of it if you think i'm lying tell me one case with a black female that was abducted and or murdered that reached any kind of fervor on social media or uh, online. I, I just want one. And you guys are gonna Google it right now. You guys are Googling right now as I said this, you guys are gonna stop the video and you're gonna Google missing black girl. And then you're gonna find a case that probably got some kind of traction uh, you know, in the media. And it might've gotten traction for a day or two if that, but I can promise you, and I'm not talking about 
your local community. I'm not talking about, you know, you live in uh, Louisiana and you remember this case from 1993 and it was all over the local media. No, I'm talking about where people on social media are talking about it. I'm talking about people, you know, the, the big legacy media corporations, how they're talking about it. That's who I'm talking about. I want you to tell me one black female that was abducted and or murdered and or went missing that reached any level of the other names of the aforementioned women that I've just spoken of right now. I only want one and that's it. All right, guys, starting to rain. I'm out of here. I will catch up with you later. The truth, the truth sometimes could be very, very, very uncomfortable. Peace out.